What's going on, fanatics? Today's workout is slightly more about young people, especially those ones among you who are probably already trained and have some experience in uh, weight exercises. In the beginning I will do some kind of basic explanation about my stretching, about the very basics of all exercises, how to conduct and how to prevent from injuries. If this content may be uninteresting for you, you can directly skip to the um, exercises themselves. I will put a link down below the video. This workout is all about explosive power and acceleration. Some exercises are even plyometric. So it's not recommendable to conduct the exercises if you are complete new to sport or if you are in a very bad shape. The aim is to make our muscles fire as fast and as strong as possible to release the maximum energy in a short period of time. The very basic rule about all exercises is if there are explosive forces or strong forces affecting your body it is important to subdue them by using your forefoot. So I'm talking about exercises like sprinting and jumping. If we are talking about power or strength exercises such as squats or weighted squats, lunges, whatever, it is important to get the complete power of your body through your heels. The sprinting exercises may be more comfortable or more powerful if you conduct them with some spikes, but all of these exercises can also be done barefoot or with ordinary sport shoes. I'm starting off with some weighted sprints. The major aim of this exercise is to release the maximum amount of power in the shortest period of time. My second aim is about some technical issues of the sprinting process itself, but because I don't want to bore you, I am not mentioning all of these technical things. Next I'm conducting some plyometrics, specifically some lateral jumps with a plyometric high jump. Same aim, release the maximum amount of power in the shortest period of time to jump as high as possible. All of these exercises are not about endurance, so it is not the aim to finish you off, get yourself some time and rest. Explosive and max power exercises are always more pleasant than endurance exercises. Here we see some kneeing plyometrics. The aim of the exercise is to start from the kneeing position and get as fast as possible to your feet doing a consecutive high jump. The perfect execution is not about getting up like in a very very bad uh, squat position. It's more about activating your hip flexors and using your glutes as well as hamstrings to do some explosive opening of your hip. Yep, total unnecessary backflip, but sometimes there are some pretty goals and yeah, I'm not free of this, I also want to impress. <laughs> I also wanted to do some weighted stuff, so I chose some weighted squats. The surface is pretty rough, so with some barefoot it was a little bit painful to stand over there. Again, it's not endurance work, so I'm definitely not maxing out. At every exercise there would be 4 up to 5, 6 probably more repetitions. I try to do the exercises as explosive as possible. For all who are interested, the first squats are about 50 kilograms, the second squats are about 90 kilograms. I also like to include some coordination work in my workout, therefore I conduct one-sided squats. To increase the coordinative aspect, I'm conducting this exercise at the bars. For my glutes and hamstrings I'm also conducting an exercise which is called hip bridge. 
This exercise is getting more intense if your foot is getting more distance to your ass. So if the foot is close to the ass, it's easier than if you have nearly complete straightened leg. At least I'm doing some more heavy squats with about 90 kilos. I like to have some tension on my muscles, especially afterwards of the training. So this is not particular about explosiveness, it's more about having a heavy impact on the muscles. So far so good, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give me your issues down in the comment section and see you soon.